in my neighborhood. We are so blessed to have the Speed Art Museum, such a fabulous place. Love to go in and shop at their little gift shop, and they uh, have little treats and food there. The uh, wonderful theater that is there that shows movies, their exhibits, new exhibit starting tomorrow. I want to welcome Julian Robson. Did I get it or did I you mess up? You got it right. Okay, I got it right. He said here in the States, we kind of mess up his name. <laughs> he is the director of Great Meadows Foundation. Also, Tyler Blackwell is here, the creator of contemporary art at Speed Art Museum. We are glad that he decided to make Louisville his home, coming from Texas. Good to see you all. That's glad nice to, be to be here. here. Yeah. So, um, the Speed Art Museum, open, ready, engaged, doing everything it always has been. I know for a while things were a little uh, crazy with the pandemic. It's your job, though, to bring in all of these exhibits and all the things that people want to see. Right, yeah. I mean, the Speed was certainly closed for uh, a little bit of time. A period of time, and then we've had some uh, limited hours, but just recently we've opened back up, so now we're back to our pre pandemic hours. Uh, uh, was Tuesday, no, I'm sorry, Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday from 12 to 5. So it's it's a very exciting to to think about our collections, um, getting new art out, um, as well as bringing in new temporary exhibitions, special exhibitions. And the uh, exhibit that will start on Friday, Rounding the Circle, the Mary and Al Shands Collection. That will open at the Speed tomorrow. Mary and Al Shands, who, who are Mary and Al Shands? Um, well, Dawn, um, Al Shands was an Episcopal priest, and he met um, Mary Norton, um, and the Nortons were actually the owners of Wave. That's right. <laughs> yes, they were. Way, way back, way back, the Nortons, and that's, that's like right. Norton Commons, Norton Hospital, the Nortons owned us, yes. And in 1967, they uh, set up home in Washington, D.C., but then moved to Louisville, 1970. Now, uh, Mary's family had always been culturally engaged in the city, and uh, in 1981, uh, she was invited to lead what was then called the Kentucky Foundation for Art and Craft. It was Phyllis George, the governor's yes. wife, who invited her to do that. Um, and at that point, um, Al was taken by her to craft fairs and uh, they went to Berea and he started buying art. And gradually, as, as a couple, they built a very large collection of contemporary art that started with ceramics and craft but then gradually blew, uh, grew into paintings and sculpture. Um, and over many years, they built this collection. They even built a new house as the collection grew that really became the home of this collection. When uh, Mary died in 2010, but when Al passed away um, just uh, 2021, uh, in his will, the collection was to be given to museums in Kentucky, the largest part of it to go to the Speed Art Museum, wow. on whose board he had been a, he'd been a trustee for many, many years. That is um, unbelievable, number one, that they had such an exhibit. But you can't take it with you when you go, so <laughs> it's a good thing that you, you're thinking about, right, where that's going to go. Tyler, what's that mean for the Speed Art Museum? I mean, that's pretty awesome. Yes, and it's, it's quite a substantial number of works. I mean, the, the Speed is receiving something like 170-plus objects into its collection. Um, so for us, that means uh, as a growing institution, a growing contemporary art collection within the institution, that means that for the first time, many artists will now be represented within the museum's uh, ability to show them in our collection exhibits. So that's, that's quite spectacular in that it allows us to tell more stories, uh, better stories, fuller stories. Um, and so we're hugely grateful that there have been uh, decades in the making, this sort of, you see some of the items yes. here, um, that will now enter and be a part of the Speed's ability to sort of think broadly about the history of art from 1960 to the present. Well, I was going to say, Julian, to you, what, what, what does this mean to the visitor coming in? Because this is a mm -hmm. collection of many artists' work that maybe we wouldn't get to see. 
Um, well, Al was always very generous in inviting people to the house to see the collection, and in 2016 he set up the Great Meadows Foundation, which supports visual artists in Kentucky. And uh, once he had done that, he felt that he had to invite more and more people to come and see this collection. Um, the way that we have worked with it at the museum is really to think in terms of the way that Al thought about these works and he would talk about them as being like a great big dinner party. He wanted the works to talk to each other and to also talk to the visitor, that the visitor would come in with their own imagination and feel engaged, not feel threatened by them, but to think about contemplating them, uh, the kind of ideas that the, they would generate for you. And he, he thought that everybody's opinions were valid and art, though, speaks to each of, of us. Right. It, it speaks to, I may feel one way, and then somebody else walk right up behind me and, and have totally uh, different emotions. You've got a lot of programs that will be at the speed, that are at the speed, movie theater open at the speed. What do you want to make sure that we know, Tyler? Well, so the exhibition is running through August 6th, so it's up for quite a long time. So visitors will have the opportunity to see the exhibition as many times as they would like. All right. um, but also there are so many different kinds of programs for families, for children, for adults, um, as well as artists uh, who have participated in uh, the Great Meadows Foundation through their granting program. So there will be all kinds of opportunities to learn about artists living and working in Louisville. All right. We appreciate what you all do. Thank you, Thank Julian, you. so very much. Thank you very much. Speedartmuseum.org. It is your museum. Is it free on Sunday? Uh, if the museum is free on Sunday, this exhibition it will be a specially ticketed Okay, program. there you go. Yeah. Wanted you to know that. Yes. Speedartmuseum.org. Wave News at 3, coming up next. Stay with us.